All right, guys, so I'm making Miley and Winnie's food. Um, this one's Winnie's and this one's Miley's. That's their dehydrated food. Um, the goat's milk powder, um, because right now I'm, I'm thawing out the raw goat's milk, so I didn't have any raw goat's milk at the second. Um, the peanut butter powder, um, it has like a few more supplements in there. Uh, Miley has more because um, Winnie gets a can of wet food added to his and Miley doesn't, so she gets more dehydrated food than Winnie does. So this is how it starts, and I add the water to this first before I start mixing in um, the other ingredients. So, okay, so now that's all mixed up. Um, there's Miley's, there's Winnie's. Uh, so I'm gonna add this to Winnie's, and then Miley gets, um, Winnie gets also half of this banana baby food, and then Miley's, I add these two baby foods and that to hers. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, so it's all been added, and now to mix it up. Okay, so it's all mixed up. As you can see, it's about halfway with food. Um, now I'm gonna fill it all the, almost all the way to the top um, with water, and then I'm gonna thicken that back up with the mashed potatoes and baby ray cereal. I'm also gonna add their dine right now too. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, and we're done. Um, as you can see, super thick, and it'll actually thicken up some more. She's super excited. Um, it'll actually thicken up some more. Um, and here is Winnie's, his is super thick too. And now, let me grab her. So we often have people ask, you know, why do I have the baby rice cereal? Why do I have the potatoes? Is that like a good meal for a dog? Should I feed this to my dog? And the answer is no. If your dog does not have mag esophagus, there is no point to go through all this. I wouldn't be feeding them baby food or baby rice cereal or uh, the potato flakes. This is all done because they have mag esophagus and because they can't handle um, a certain food consistency. <laughs> Hey, I'm telling them about your food. I know you see it. Um, and the main um, thing the baby rice cereal and the potato flakes do is that these dogs, Miley and Winnie and, and a lot of other dogs with mega esophagus, they cannot drink water. And I know that sounds crazy to normal people. You're thinking a dog that can't drink water, like how would it survive? And the answer is it would not survive without help. And so um, by doing this, you know, half of this thing of food, about half right here, is just water um and it's just thickened right back up with the baby rice cereal and the um potatoes but they don't get any other water besides in this food and they can't handle a soupy food so you have to hide the water in a thick food so that's when you start getting like ideas like the baby rice cereal and the potato flakes and you start finding ways you can do it with beef gelatin whatever to add water to food without the water being there because they just they can't drink the water so this is why we go to this extent. That's why this is made like this. It's made like this because it'll go down. And when it comes to mega esophagus dogs, oftentimes it's not about what you feed them. It's just if it goes down and it works, then it works. Um, Miley does amazing on this. She looks super healthy. Winnie does amazing on this. Um, it goes down. It, they don't aspirate it. It's a win in our book. So sometimes with mega esophagus dogs, you got to like go off the conventional route of what you would feed your dog because your dog has to survive and you just have to figure out what you have to do to get the food down, to get the calories in them. That's why they get the peanut butter powder and the goat's milk and the dye and, and even the baby rice cereal and um, potato flakes add more calories. We have to do whatever we can to get this into them and to keep the weight on them. So that's what their food looks like. And as you can see, she's super stoked about it. Okay, let me go. And Pepper eats almost the same type of food, but hers doesn't have potato flakes in it, no. And hers doesn't have to be quite as thick because she does better on a semi-soupy, like a thin milkshake consistency, huh? And you don't eat right now, girl, but she said she would eat their, eat their food if she could, yeah. Had to end with them eating a little bit of this, huh? Down. How's it taste, Miley? Here, we'll give Winnie a bite out of order just so he can be on the video too. All right, they love it. So that's their food.